What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a high taper with a baby fro. We're gonna curl sponge and get it twisted up on top. If you guys really rock with the channel, please interact with this video. Hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. The channel's been doing a little bit slow lately, so I need you guys' help, so make sure you do that for me. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Alright, so we're starting off with the ball guideline from the top of the C cup, bottom of the vertical bar, back to the top of the ear. We're going to go ahead and ball all that out, then we'll come in with our shaver, get it down to skin, and we can start our first guideline. Now we're going to come in with the lever all the way open, we're going to go up about a half an inch and start our next guideline, then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. We'll start with the clipper closed at the very bottom of the section, then we'll use our clipper halfway open in the middle of the section. Anything that's left behind after that, we can use our lever and come through and clean up any dark spots that are left before we work our way up. Next, we're going to come in with the one guard all the way open. We're going to go up another half an inch. And you guys want to make a nice clean guideline. We're going to go up. You're not really going to be able to see the guideline very well. In this texture of hair, it's going to push the hair up out of the way. And you can see I'm brushing some of the longer hair up out of the way and just dealing with the section that I'm trying to cut. So once I get that clean, we'll come in with the clipper closed, the one guard all the way closed, and start to work that line out. Anything that we don't get with the one closed, we'll come in with the half guard and take the last hint of a line out before moving on. Now we're coming in with the two guard guys. We're gonna flick right into the afro here. We don't wanna see another guideline. So I'm just gonna kinda of lighten up this line that you guys can see that is so dark. We're gonna use the two guard close to do that. We're not gonna leave a guideline into the top. All that should be left behind is the line between the open one and the two, and the one and a half should lighten that up. And you guys see, I'm just gonna work my way through. I'm gonna keep brushing the hair down, or in this instance, I will use a comb because I wanna make sure that I get that curled hair to lay down. So we'll work our way through that. We'll continue to work our way back down to the one guard, half guard, no guard as needed until we're happy with this section. Now we're gonna move on to this side guys, same steps as before, so you guys follow along with the color guide in the bottom right corner. And like I said in the beginning guys, the channel's been slowing down. For those of you who don't know, I did just have my first son. And guys, it's a little bit tricky to get these videos done and deal with all that that we have going on at home. So I have gone down to one video a week and it has really hurt the channel. So if you guys rock with me, if you've been watching for a long time, please hit that like button, leave a comment. That tells YouTube that the content is interesting and helps show it to more people. So I could really use your guys' help and I really appreciate if you guys would do that for me. I hope at some point I can get back to doing maybe two videos a week, but it is extra difficult right now. So I'm trying to bring you guys some quality content, but right now I can only keep up with one video a week so all that interaction guys really helps the channel and all of you that have been watching me if you will do that for me i really appreciate it and if you guys didn't notice we're almost to 25k i'm absolutely stoked about that never thought i would see that day but honestly guys we're getting like 2,000 views with 25,000 subscribers so i'm not really sure what's going on with the algorithm but like i said if you guys interact that will really help out All right, moving on to the back taper, guys, we will do the same exact steps. I'm gonna start off with my slim lines, make a nice clean guideline. We'll go ahead and bald everything out, come in with the shaver and get it down to skin, and then we can work our steps. First step, we're gonna go in with the clipper all the way open. We will go up about three quarters of an inch. Like I said, guys, same as the side taper. Only difference is we have a little bit more room to work. So we're gonna stretch this out a little bit more. So we'll go up and make a nice clean guideline and then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. So as normal, guys, clipper closed at the bottom, clipper halfway open, halfway up into the section. And we started with the clipper open at the top.
All right, next up, we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open, again, three quarters of an inch up. We're gonna make a nice clean guideline before we start to work that line out from the bottom. And again, we will come in with the one guard closed and that will start to lighten up that line between the two sections. Anything that's left behind, we will take out with the half guard. Now you guys see we're gonna come in with the half guard and start to take the rest of this line out between the two sections. If it doesn't come all the way out, guys, I'm not gonna to spend too much time. I wanna go ahead and work all the way through my steps, and as we come back down, I can clean that up as needed. Now for the last guard we're gonna use here, guys, we're gonna use a number two all the way closed, and we're gonna flick into the fro. You guys will not see a guideline. The only line that should be left is between the open one and the two guard close. So again, we'll come in with the one and a half to lighten that line up. And after we work through all of our steps, we'll continue to work our way down, polishing this up until we're happy with how it looks. Now we're gonna work on the lineup around the ears. Guys, we wanna brush the hair over the lineup. We don't wanna brush it up into the hair. We wanna brush it down over the lineup and cut off anything that hangs over. We're gonna work the straight line down the back of the neck. Then I'll place my middle finger somewhere around his ear so that I can pivot the trimmer around the ear and get a perfect circle. We'll go over that a few times because of the curl in this hair. Every time we brush it, some hair is gonna stick out. So you guys just wanna make a few passes. Make sure that you have it nice and clean. Now we're gonna work on the front hairline and guys, we have a nice, long, straight trimmer. It creates a straight line as we use it. So we're just gonna use that to work the line straight across. You guys will see I started over in the left corner. I'm gonna work my way towards the middle. And as I'm working, I'm gonna stand straight in front of him and look at that line and make sure that I'm getting it straight across. So as I turn him, I will kind of change the middle here. You guys can see it does look like it's sloping down in the middle. Of course, I'm trying to leave as much hair as possible. Here in a second, I will turn him towards me where I can look straight on and we'll continue to work that line all the way across to the other side. In each corner, we'll take the vertical bars straight up and down and we're not gonna have a C cup in this haircut. So we'll just work the vertical bars and the straight across front hairline. Before we get into the final razor work, I'm gonna go ahead and curl his hair back up, get it into its final look. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water and then we'll add some pomade. Guys, this is level three pomade. Has a slight shine and a little bit of hold. And then we'll come in with the curl sponge and get it curled up and then we can do our razor work. Now we have them laid back, guys, I'm gonna come in with my razor. This is the Tomb 45 Triple Cartridge Razor. These are Astra razor blades. I'm just gonna follow the same line that I started with with the trimmers. We're just gonna make it nice and sharp. So you guys see I have the skin stretched tight. I'm gonna pull my blade straight to that line and make the line nice and sharp. And you guys can check out the end result.
All right guys, so there's the before. He is a pretty regular client, so he doesn't ever come in looking too crazy, but he definitely was ready for a cleanup. And there's the finished product, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Like I said, please smash that like button. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this cut. Appreciate you guys watching, getting me to 25K. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss a video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next time.